We really don't want people to be leaving their votes on the floor. Uh, it's our most valuable and sacred right. That was one goal at Civic TN's election hub in Chattanooga, with advocates like Kayla Jones spending the day working to get more voters to the polls. And for some of those working, like Alondra Gomez, it's a right they don't yet have. I am not a U.S. citizen yet. Uh, I just became a permanent resident. And so my uh, advocacy work is really important to me because I'm not able to go to the polls and participate in our elections. But where does Hamilton County currently stand with voter turnout? So in 2020, uh, the voter turnout for the August election in Hamilton County, only about 26 percent of eligible voters voted in that election. So far, um, for early voting, we had about 15,000 people in Hamilton County vote so far. According to the nonprofit Chattanooga in Action for Love, Equality and Benevolence, Tennessee previously ranked 51st during the 2022 midterm election. Tennessee Secretary of State Trey Hargett wants to see more Tennesseans casting ballots this year. Our goal is we want every Tennessean who is registered to vote to come out and vote. I mean, we prepare for that. And that compared to previous elections, this year's voter turnout is landing in the middle. Early voting numbers were a little higher than 2016, but down from 2020. Uh, I, I will tell you anecdotally around the state, the turnout has been pretty slow today. So where can you cast your vote? According to the Hamilton County Election Commission, there are 80 polling locations in Hamilton County. And according to the Tennessee Secretary of State's office, there's 1,821 polling places throughout the state. You know, when you don't go vote, what you do is you turn over the keys of power of government to those that do. So hopefully that will resonate with people. And come this November, we're going to see some great turnout. Civic TN's other election hubs are located in Clarksville, Knoxville, Memphis, and Nashville. Kim? Mary Beth, thank you. And we will be tracking tonight's results as they come in with team coverage. You'll hear more from Jacqueline and Meg Doyle as well. Our team will be bringing you the latest poll numbers online at newschannel9.com. And we'll also share any reactions at 10 and 11. We appreciate you choosing News Channel 9 as your source for local news. For updates on this story and other breaking news events, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. News Channel 9, depend on us.